Hello and welcome to Wandering Wanda. I'm Marielle. Today we are at Twin Falls Jerome KOA. Twin Falls is actually four miles across the bridge, which is this bridge right here. And we are at site three, I think, right out of the general store. They're buddy sites. Now, I don't really particularly care for the buddy sites. The reason for that is because the buddy sits way too close to us. Yeah, we're on site three. I do like the fact that I have 50 amps water in water out the water pressure is okay could be better but it's fine it's a long site 50 plus feet so our tail end doesn't stick out and our front end doesn't stick out too much there are a lot of trees here so Starlink does have clear sky, which is a good thing since we've been here for six days. They have a playground right over here. Early evening a lot of screaming children here I don't know why children need to be screaming and then a pool area and I've seen as many as 20 plus people in this pool it does look like they have two KOA cabins over here they're just glorified tool sheds Restroom with a shower. Ooh. Shower looks clean. And I have six and two out here outside. Haven't really walked around the park, it's been too hot. <laughs> Today's the first cool day. Laundry room. Ooh. Oh, camper sink. Camper sink. She can do dishes there. Nice, nice big drums. Clean. Maybe I'll do. smaller drums okay one thing about this area really early in the morning it does smell like cow manure there must be a cow pasture nearby <laughs> looks like their tent area Yeah, most of their sites are buddy sites and when someone has their slide out out look how close to the line they are I don't like that so would I stay in this park again the answer would be no The answer would be no, I would not. There is two more RV parks at Twin Falls and it looks like they're in nicer areas and they're not buddy sites.
I haven't driven by but just looking at the the photos from online they do look nicer but they're not part of the KOA system so you would need to call them and make reservations that's the part I don't like is that you have to wait if you don't if they don't pick up the phone when you call them you have to leave a message and wait for them to call you back so if you're planning a seven month trip you're waiting for this one park to call you back in order to continue making the rest of your reservations and with the KOA system you can do everything within one day you plan an entire seven month trip in one afternoon because everything is on the internet whether it's available or not and book it right then and there instead of waiting for someone to call you back all right I did find a new program and I haven't tried it yet so we'll do it for next year I'll tell you more about it later okay the next stop is back to Arco for three days because you can only stay at West Yellowstone KOA for two weeks and I'm there for 13 days and I needed a filler park in between for those three days that I could not overextend my two-week stay booking at West Yellowstone was actually a mistake I thought Jackson Hole Wyoming would be near West Yellowstone oh I was wrong it's over a hundred miles away and the reason why I think it's a mistake is because I've stayed in Jackson Hole before and it's beautiful it's got a cute, it's a cute little town with a lot of restaurants so I thought that's where I would be staying surrounded by restaurants or near restaurants I don't know what's at West Yellowstone there's a tiny little town according to the map so I may be eating in a lot <laughs> so okay I'm enjoying today today's the coolest day here in six days this is actually very hard for me I can't believe that the US government interned its own people merely for for the fact of their heritage being an Asian American it just pisses me off what the Democratic Party did during World War II again this was not Republicans this was Democrats. This is what happens when they go into power. They want to intern people. Okay. Today, I am at the Minidoka National Historic Site. This is one of 10 Japanese American concentration camps used during World War II. Over 13,000 individuals were imprisoned here between August 1942 and October 1945. The guard tower was a typical presence on the landscape reminding incarcerations that they were prisoners of their own country. Again, this is what happens when Democrats take complete control of the, gov of the government. It this is what their main purpose is. Look what they did to us during lockdown. Fauci freaking locked us down in our own homes. Pissed. This is not a good way to start a morning. All right, on to the camp.
the Americans of Japanese descent. These were the ones that fought during World War II, while the rest of their family were in internment camps. When you come here, make sure you watch the film. It is quite moving. Okay, just a side note, the Minidoka National Historic Site, there is no RV parking. I do not recommend that you bring your RV there. All right, today we are at the Hagerman Fossil Beds National Monument. <sighs> Containing the largest concentration of Hagerman horse fossils, in North America. This monument is internationally significant because it protects the world's richest known fossil bit fossil deposits from the late Pelasinian epoch about three to four million years ago. Visitor Center, the parking lot, they do have limited RV parking. And I don't understand why these cars are here. When there's a parking lot over here. Today we are at City of Rocks, Alamo, Idaho. Beginning in 1843, City of Rocks was a landmark for immigrants on the California Trail and Salt Lake Alternative Trail. Born of molten lava and shaped by millions of years of erosion, the City of Rocks, the, rock, the City of Rocks looked to travelers like a dismantled rock-built city of the Stone Ages. That needs to be rewritten. There's a lot of bugs here. So bring bug spray. The visitor center you can park your rig there it's large enough for maybe three or four rigs however after that i would say i don't recommend rigs here or trailers because the entire park as you can see is compacted dirt road and in some places it's a washboard so i've actually i'm using four-wheel drive and oh my god the truck needs to be washed Okay, I am liking the park. It's beautiful. It's just dirt road. Just give you a warning. It's a beautiful park. Nice. It's, um, it's granite rocks that have been shot up through the earth. 
okay, we're going to go where that car is coming. Thank you for watching. Bye.